Hey guys, it's girl Tia. So, just got home from seeing Doctor Strange. Personally, I think the 15 minute preview poster is a lot better than this one. But, I can deal with it. Yeah. But anyway, so, I didn't know shit about Doctor Strange. I am going to say that right now. Didn't know nothing about him. Didn't even know he existed. Until today. Well, last year when they said that Benedict was going to be Doctor Strange. And seeing the movie tonight, he was the perfect person for it. I mean, he has the charisma. He has the attitude. He has the spunk. I mean, he has, like, the passion of the character himself. He nailed it. He nailed it. Now, I didn't know Doctor Strange's background until I seen the movie, of course. And after seeing the movie, it's like, it worked for him. Benedict, it, it worked for him. Like, it just, it just meshed together. Him and this character. Like, awesome. And I definitely, definitely recommend you seeing this movie in IMAX 3D, man. You, for the first time, you cannot see it any way else. You just, you just can't. Like, seriously. And for those who, I know some, some of y'all that hurt your eyes, maybe take the L for this one and just suck it up and watch it. It's worth every penny. Because this movie is not like all the other movies in MCU. Because the majority of them, well, I guess the rest, I'm going to say all of them except this one, shit, because I've seen them all. They're all action. But yeah, they got little love stories here and there, you know, love interests and drama. But this movie, it's not about physicality. It's mental. Like, it's the mind. And the way the movie works, it was just, oh, it was, it was awesome. And how they move back and forth between states and cities and countries, everything works with the mind. So they build this and then everything else follows. And it's, it's amazing. But I'll get into the movie. Okay. So Dr. Strange, he's an asshole. He's a dick. He's brilliant. Nobody can't tell him shit. But that accident humbled his ass and then some. Because that was definitely needed. No questions asked. He gets to this place with the sorcerers. They humble his ass some more. They open his mind. He learns. He engages. He accepts. Some things, but being the brilliant scientist that he is, he has to know more, and that's where things get interesting, and then all the other characters come into play. Now, the bad guy can be the bad guy, but he says some things in the movie that makes him like sort of the good guy, or depending on if you agree with what he says or not, but I'm not going to say what he said, I'm going to let you watch it. But it was quite interesting. Like, seriously. Makes you think. Like, hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but the movie and how it went from the beginning to the middle to the end, everything was paced perfectly. All the way to the end. Now, there's a part in the movie that really pisses me off, but I'm not going to say anything because I don't want to spoil it for you. Just look out for it. You'll probably notice it right off the bat when you get to that part. But overall, the movie was it was awesome, man. I, they, just the way and how they work and how they move and how they teach them about all these multi-universes. It's, it's an amazing thing to have learned such power and be able to use it. And then the way you see it in IMAX and in 3D, it's like, oh my God, like, you're just looking all over this big ass screen, like, this shit is beautiful. I mean, seriously, it was beautiful, man. I don't recommend seeing that any other way. Now, of course, this is a Marvel movie, so you have to stay until the end, and then the end end. Now, the first end, it was hilarious. Oh my goodness. I want to say what it is so bad, but I'm not going to spoil it for you guys. I promise. And then the second part. I wasn't pissed. I was confused. 
But at the same time, that's where Doctor Strange 2 comes in at because they did confirm there's going to be another one, just like Ant-Man. So I can't wait to see what happens in the second one. But for a newcomer for Doctor Strange, since I didn't know who the hell he was, where he came from, or what he do, the movie was phenomenal. On a scale of 1 to 10, it gets a 10 for me. It was it was awesome. I am definitely going to go see that again. Not going to pay another $18.50 to go see it in IMAX 3D. That's not happening. I ain't no ball of status. I am really not. But I will definitely go see that again. So for you guys who's going to see it for the first time, like I said throughout this whole review, make sure you go see it in IMAX 3D. It is definitely worth every penny. So when you guys see it, please come back to my channel. Come back to this video. Like, comment, and share. Please, I really want to know what you guys thought about the movie. Because I've seen some other reviews so far, and everybody's saying that they love it. So I can't wait to see what you guys think. I'll see you guys in my next review. This is...